The streaming revival, will we ever need one? In this series, I've commented on revivals of various dead formats, vinyl records, cassettes, minidisc, CD, film photography, to name just a few of my topics. And there have been comments, a lot of comments. The thing is, if there's a comment that disagrees with my opinion in the video, and that comment is so insightful that it changes my mind, I'll be happy to do that. It's the definition of an idiot who doesn't change his mind when external facts change. The thing is, though, I haven't changed my mind on anything that I've said across nearly 20 videos in this series. Yes, I'm stubborn, but it's only my opinion which is no more valid than anyone else's. No need to get het up over an old guy's ramblings on YouTube. <laughs> but there's one theme that has come up again and again in the comments. It doesn't actually contradict anything I've said, but it does add perspective. And that is the difference between streaming services and physical media. And this applies to vinyl, cassette, CD, DVD and Blu-ray, or any other tangible physical medium that you can actually own. On streaming services, audio and video, you own nothing, and you will, supposedly, be happy. Let me concentrate on audio for a moment. I subscribe to Spotify, and I'm sure I'd be equally happy with Apple Music. Both services offer more music than I could probably listen to in a lifetime. Granted, not everything is there, and I find the classical music experience on Spotify not the best. But then, I actually do go to concerts, so I would say that, wouldn't I? <laughs> Regarding audio quality, there are some streaming services that offer audio in WAV format, so there's no reason it should be any less good than what the mastering engineer heard in his or her studio. I'm not a fan of lossy formats, and I predict they will disappear at some point in the future, as bandwidth and download speeds increase. So yes, I'll agree that CD is superior to lossy streaming, even though CD is only 16-bit. Pack those bits correctly and you have audio as good as anyone could want. Now, there's something audiophiles might want to comment on. Go ahead, you won't change my mind on that. I digressed a little bit there, but my point is that criticism of streaming on grounds of audio quality might be valid now, but it won't be relevant in the future. OK, the rhinoceros in the room. You'll own nothing and be happy. <laughs> Google says this phrase was invented by Michael Walsh, and it has certainly gained a lot of traction. What it means is that in the olden days, we would buy stuff and use it until it wore out, or if there was a better model available to trade up to. But now we rent stuff. Software as a service is an example where you pay for your Pro Tools or Photoshop monthly. Stop paying and you can't use it anymore. Or you make a down payment on a car, then pay monthly for three years, then you take it back to the dealer. You've made all your payments, you've driven the car to your heart's content within the mileage limitations, and now you own nothing. Are you happy? <laughs> of course, you'll just go through the cycle again, you useful idiot. Back to audio, and that rhinoceros I was talking about. If you own a CD, you own it. You can listen to it as many times as you like, for as long as you like. Your loved ones can play it at your funeral, and of course, you'll have bequeathed it to a select member of your nearest and dearest. Let's say it's a classic CD. I'll say Brothers in Arms by Dire Straits from the 1980s. Whether or not you like this music, it was definitely a major success in its time and it was commonly used to test out PA systems. The audio quality was so good. Well, of course, you can listen to this music on your favourite streaming service today. But what when there's some legal dispute about who owns what copyright to what line of lyrics? The streaming service doesn't want to get into trouble, so they pull it. You can't listen to your favourite album anymore. Go search for Albums Removed from Spotify if you want to learn more about this. Or the artist or label might decide to remove an album, sometimes with an understandable reason. But whatever the cause, whatever the reason, the CD owner can listen to their music forever. The streamer has lost it down a virtual drain. One more point which applies to my example CD, Brothers in Arms. I made some course material for Audio Masterclass where I wanted to compare modern mastering with old school pre-loudness war mastering. Brothers in Arms came to mind. But I needed a genuine 1980s copy to be sure I was getting the correct era of mastering. 
Can you hear genuine initial release mastering on your streaming service? Not particularly. In fact, they make a big deal of remastered versions, whether it's for the better or not. So if there's an album you like and you listen to it on streaming, next time you listen, it might have been remastered and you might not like it quite so much. So that's the rhinoceros. Now for the hippopotamus. I'm saving the elephant for a future video where I actually do change my mind on something. <laughs> Many commenters have made the point that I've just made here, that if you own something, you own it forever or until it wears out. With streaming, what you can listen to today, you might not be able to listen to tomorrow. But the way this thought is often phrased is, I prefer CD because I own it and it's a great format. I prefer vinyl because I own it and it's a great format. I prefer mini disc, etc. But if you've watched any of my Revival series videos, you'll know that my view on old formats is that they belong in the past and should have no relevance other than nostalgia today. And yes, I will accept that vinyl cover art is sadly missed. Also in these videos, I have mostly said that streaming is the modern way to listen to music. And if you subscribe to a service that offers the WAV format, you'll have access to audio quality that is in advance of anything from the past. Yes. CD, but 24 bits versus 16. But as I've said in my virtual menagerie, streaming has its downside, and that's that you don't own anything, and you're not entirely happy about that. So what is the answer? Well, <laughs> one answer is streaming. Just get used to renting your music. You have more than a lifetime supply for an easy monthly payment. If you're OK with that, then no problem. Actually, if you are OK with that, Leave a comment and tell us all how you feel. But the other answer is downloads. Yes, like Apple Music, formerly iTunes, used to be. The way Steve Jobs liked it. And he knew a thing or two. But the early years of downloads had their own wildebeest in the room. DRM, Digital Rights Management. This applies to video too. DVD and Blu-ray both have copy protection. OK, it's been busted, but most music lovers won't know how to copy their discs to transfer to another device. And digital rights management can withdraw your permission to play your music at any time. At any time. So you think you own something, but you don't. So like I said a moment ago, what is the answer? The answer is that formats are irrelevant. Modern digital audio is as perfect as anyone, even an audio file, needs it to be. Digital video of Blu-ray quality is as good as being in the cinema, and my television has better blacks. And how should these best quality audio and video materials be given physical form? Bits. Digital ones and zeros. And it doesn't matter how you store them. Disc, hard disc, SD card, scribble on a scroll of parchment if you have the means to play them back. Listen and watch on your TV, phone, tablet, smartwatch, any other device that might be invented in the 21st century. If you own the bits, you can store them, copy them and play them to your heart's content. And let me stress that all of this must be DRM free. At last, you own something. You own those bits and you can do with them as you please. Formats are irrelevant. And there need be no streaming revival. OK, there are a lot of details I could fill in here, but I'll leave it to you in the comments. What have I missed out? What facts have I got wrong? Should I be cancelled for my opinions? Over to you. <laughs>